Hello everyone. This is Faith from Firesign Tarot. Welcome to our channel. Whether you're new or returning, welcome. I haven't been around in a couple of days. It's been a crazy couple of days around here. Um, trying to get things taken care of, get some things done. I think we're back on track. I don't know, my new lawnmower's supposed to be here today. It hasn't shown up yet, so I guess if it doesn't show up before I gotta leave for my bread and butter job, I'll take care of my lawn when I get home from work tomorrow night. So, figured, hey, what the hell? I haven't read cards in a few days, so I better get rolling on that. All right. So, Gemini, it's still your season. So, we're gonna roll you out for the second half of June. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, it will be a general reading. If it resonates with you, cool. It's your free will to do whatever you choose to do with the message given to you by the cards. If you choose to do anything at all, it is your journey, not mine. I just read the cards. If it doesn't resonate, that's okay. It's a general reading. It's not going to resonate with every Gemini. You can check your Moon, Rising, or Venus sign readings. Maybe you'll find something to resonate a little bit better. I also offer personal readings. The information about that is in the description box of this video and in the description of the channel in the about section. I'm wide open for that too right now. So give us a shout. We'll talk. Okay. Time and energy are both fluid. All things can and maybe vice versa may even play out from the perspective of a cross watcher. And cross watchers are always welcome here. Absolutely. I feel your pain. Okay. Let's get the cards out for Gemini today. Second half of June. I should probably put these on so they don't get a headache. All right, Gemini, why are you here? Ace of Wands in the reverse. <sighs> the match just isn't striking. Okay. Possibly a fire sign you're dealing with. Doesn't necessarily have to be. Something's just not getting going. It's not getting started. Okay. All right. How do you feel about the person you're dealing with? Oh, the world. This cycle may be closing out. Maybe you feel change? The end being near? Something like that? Maybe you feel like they're going through some changes. What do you think of them? Seven of Wands. They could be a take charge person. It's another fire sign card, by the way. There's a little bit of a combative energy coming off of that. A little bit. We'll throw a clarifier on it in a minute. What do you want from them? Eight of Cups in the reverse. Okay. That's card of return, my friends. <sighs> Not getting started. Change is coming. Combative energy or return. You could be in separation. They may have a little water in their chart. Hmm. Wow. You want them to return? Hmm. How do they feel about you? Five of Pentacles. Perhaps they feel a little bit left out in the cold. 
Oh my. What do they think of you? Temperance. Sagittarius has popped up on the board along with a little bit of Earth. For anyone who's keeping track of that. They see you as patient, level headed, lots of positive energy flow. What do they want from you? Eight of Pentacles in the reverse. Oh my. Okay. Stop putting work into something. Stop working so hard. Stop being so work focused. Okay, well, what's the obstacle here? The Knight of Cups. I love it when this guy shows up. Hmm. Okay, it's coming together for me now. Knight of Cups is slightly non committal. That may be the obstacle here. Someone's not willing to commit. They're all about spreading love, pouring out that cup, but then they fly away. Huh. Or something always pulls them away. Could be work. Hmm. What needs to be done? King of Swords in the reverse. Someone needs to lead with emotion? Ow. Okay, well. Gee, Gemini. I don't know who this is resonating with. Universe, Source, and Spirit, can I get a little bit of clarity on the cards on the table for Gemini for the second half of June, please? Do not need to clarify those. I'm going to step those up a little bit. I think I know where this is going. I'm just not going to say it yet. Why is the Seven of Wands here? Will of Fortune in the Reverse came flying out onto the table for us. Okay. Downward turn of events. Cycle coming back around. Combative energy. The Seven of Wands can be indicative of an inner demon, too. Confliction of thoughts and actions. Hmm. Okay. One more on that, please. One more on that, please. The Hierophant. Could be a Taurus. It 
The Wheel of Fortune and the Hierophant can both indicate Taurus. But the Wheel of Fortune can indicate any fixed sign. So for those of you keeping track of that, the signs aren't important unless they're setting off an alarm in your brain. That's how it resonates, that's how it resonates. This could be a blessed union. It could work out. But there's something hanging it up. There's a return. The winds of change. Someone's conflicted. Someone's battling something that isn't there. Or someone's battling something only they can see. Hmm, why is the Eight of Cups here? Why is the Eight of Cups reversed here? Hi! <laughs> okay, so you want them to return and you want them to be as hung up as you are? The Ace of Pentacles and the Three of Wands. You want the rose bush to grow. You want them to wait for something. You want them to wait for you. Or you're willing to wait for their return. Wow, Gemini. Okay. Somebody has a cycle here that's got to close out. Is this like a running theme this month? That's every freaking reading last month or, or last half of the month. Returns, returns, cycles, closing out. People unpacking their bags. Closing out chapters before they can start new ones. The winds of change are here. You know what? I gotta throw one on that Five of Pentacles. Why is the Five of Pentacles here? I don't need 20 cards. Try that again. You wanna know why the win? You wanna know why it's here? I'll tell you why it's here. 20 cards come flopping out on the table. I'm not gonna read 20 cards. I'll take two, though. The Chariot in the reverse and the Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. Left out in the cold. Someone's feeding a, feeling a little needy, a little clingy. Gemini, are you are you a little bit codependent? You want them to return. You want to be hung up as you. You're willing to wait for this to start. It's not starting now. The winds of change are blowing. They feel like you want to close a gap, but they're left out in the cold. Somebody, Maybe they left you out in the cold. Maybe they feel like you're feeling left out in the cold. Could be. Everything's fluid. One more. Queen of Swords. Ugh. Queen of Swords. Logical. Head over heart decisions. Cold. Cunning. Calculated. Represents Gemini. Gee. The King of Swords can also represent Gemini, too. It's an air sign card. Mixed emotions. This is very interesting, Gemini. Why is, Sag why is Temperance here?
Wise temperance here for what the other person thinks of Gemini. Thank you. Five of swords reversed. Calm, cool, collected, patient. Words not said, pieces not picked up. Not accepting the change of the communication. Not accepting change. How can you be calm, collected, and patient and be codependent and clingy at the same time? Judgment reversed. Could be a Sagittarius you're dealing with. Fire signs did pop up first. Reversal of judgment. You want someone to change their mind. Or they think you want a reversal of judgment. Okay. Why is the Eight of Pentacles reversed here? For what the other person wants. Cups in the upright. Eight of Cups in the upright. Three of Cups. Oh boy. Mm. Gemini, I'm thinking they just want to be friends. They want to stop putting the work into this. They want to move forward. They want to still be friends, but maybe why the match isn't striking. They aren't as hung up as you are. Why is the Knight of Cups here? Apparently someone's not willing to commit. I just read the cards, guys. Don't yell at me. Why is the Knight of Cups here? Tower reversed. Hmm, somebody's trying to rebuild a tower. King of Pentacles and the Hermit. Oh boy. It's not time. It's not time. It's not time. Someone wants to rebuild the tower or stop it from crashing down if it hasn't already crashed down. Somebody else needs to go inside and do a little work. Hence the winds of change. The potential is there. King of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles, the potential is there. Someone's not ready to commit to it yet. Somebody needs to go in and do a little bit of introspection, inner work, and just let the damn tower fall for now. That's the obstacle. You're not on the same page. And I don't think you guys have talked much about it. I think somebody may have ghosted the other. Or it feels that way. Someone may have been slightly cold about it. Why is the King of Swords reversed here for what needs to be done? Someone may have a little bit of a bad attitude. Justice. 
somebody needs to check that bad attitude. Things need to level off. Four of Cups reversed. Someone needs to stop ignoring the cup that's being handed to them. Could be the cup of friendship. Let the energies level off. Be fair and just. Check the attitude at the door. Queen of Wands, slow your roll. Don't be all up in arms about it. This is some mixed up energy, but I'm going to go ahead and get your advice. Queen of Swords in the upright, Ten of Wands in the reverse. Be honest, even if you got to be cold. Don't take this on as a burden. If the other person is burdened, don't take the burden on. It's not your burden to bear. If they need to release something for this to move forward, you have to let them do that. But you got to sit down and have the honest conversation. You have to communicate. The Emperor and the Moon. Don't read more into it than there is. Don't blow it out of proportion. Don't put a red flag there that isn't there. And take control of your own life and your own stuff and do your own thing and be the master of your own empire. Don't worry about somebody else's. The High Priestess and the Ten of Wands. The connection is there. It's there. Acknowledge it for what it is. If it's going to be more, it's going to be more. If it's not, it's not. The Wheel of Fortune reversed and the Hierophant both popped up over here. Those are both indicators of soulmate connections karmic to be specific with the wheel of fortune this could just have been a lesson that you needed to learn i love it when soulmates come in and teach you a little something about yourself that you didn't already know maybe this just needs to close out the nine of pentacles reverse and the page of pentacles reverse yes my friends You need to become independent of this. You need to separate. You need to break away. You need to accept it, process it, release it, move on from it. Or you're not going to be able to give or receive offers from anybody because you're going to be hanging on to this. Let it go. start over. The potential is there. You may just have to release it for now and see what the universe does with it. Okay? Don't, don't force it. Don't force it. Okay, Gemini, this is what I have for you for the second half of June. Thanks for stopping by. Let me know if it resonates. You guys are wonderful. Like, share, and subscribe if you haven't already. I'm not going to twist your arm. If you do, you do. If you don't, you don't. It is appreciated, though. More than you realize. I love Geminis. You guys are great. One of my besties is a Gemini. 
maybe this will resonate a little bit with her. All right. Maybe not. I don't know. I just read the cards. Take care.